Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Today is day 10. Exciting. We're in the double digits. And today I am reviewing two sunscreens from the same brand. This brand is called Frezy Derm. Freezy Derm? I don't know. F R E Z Y Derm. I was recommended to try it because one of them is the like invisible kind, kind of price wise, not necessarily a dupe, but formula wise, very similar to Supergoop Unseen sunscreen. And then they also have the tinted version. So I picked up both. I got them on Care2 Beauty, which is a website that ships from Europe. But if you are in the EU, you can probably find it on the Frezzy Derm website. I will list below different places that you can pick it up. You can also get it um, on Amazon. So the price does differ depending on where you pick it up. So I'm not necessarily gonna say like this is the exact price, but just, just know you can kind of find it different prices, different places. So with that all said, I'm going to jump in. We're already zoomed in. I'm already in a weird place. My background's all weird. And we're gonna jump into day 10. So if you're not already subscribed, do so below. Give this video a like and we'll get going. Here comes the sun and I say it's all right. All right, so what I do when I do two different sunscreens, I typically do a side-by-side -side comparison. I think it's helpful so you can see maybe the tint, the shade, that kind of thing, or the finish. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do about a half of my quarter teaspoon, so an eighth, and that is not always most specific, but the idea is that you put a quarter of a teaspoon on your face and neck, and that should give you the correct amount of protection. These sunscreens do have a nice little twist off, twist on and off, which is great because you can actually travel with the pump. Sometimes when it has a pump, uh, it's like a little dicey to travel with. So they do have that. They are an airless container, which is pretty nice, but they are a little bulky, I will tell you that much. So let's get going. All right, so this is the Sunscreen Velvet Face SPF 50 Plus. This is supposed to be an innovative, transparent sun protection face cream with a unique cosmetic behavior that spreads evenly with one touch. Its unique formula leaves a velvety feel on the skin, offers a matte appearance for six hours, absorbing sebum and softening the appearance of wrinkles. Its clear, non-oily texture leaves no white tint and makes excellent makeup foundation. So like they say, it has a velvet feel, matte finish, and it also has no white tint and is water resistant. I'm not sure if it says how long it's water resistant, but I think it's probably about 40 minutes, if I am correct. It has no scent. It's actually made in Greece, which is really interesting. I don't think I've ever had another Greek sunscreen, so that's cool, kind of cool. As far as your filters, it is mostly a chemical sunscreen, but it does have titanium dioxide, so if you don't like titanium dioxide, I know some people can be sensitive to it. This one does have it. You also get 50 milliliters or 1.7 fluid ounces, and like I said before, it kind of ranges. I can get it for as cheap as about $33 if you do subscribe and save on Amazon, or if you do care to beauty, I, I think it's actually like $25, but then depending on if you have free shipping or not, it'll cost more just to get it sent over to America. But they both come in the same amount for the same price. As far as our tinted one, it's pretty much the same formula. It just has a tint to it and it definitely pulls a little bit more warm. So if you can see my face right now, this is the tinted side, this is the non-tinted side. With the non-tinted side, it is matte, but it is a velvet matte. So I don't find that it takes down all shine, but it definitely leaves you kind of like a natural matte, like velvet, that's a combination, <laughs> matte velvet finish. Something that I really like, and it does really, really remind me of the Supergroup Unseen Sunscreen in terms of the finish. On the tinted side though, I do feel that it looks a bit more matte. It kind of feels a bit more matte, but like I said, it definitely pulls pretty warm. So if you do have more cool undertones or you're just like fair toned, this might be a little too much unless you are going for that kind of bronze look. For me in the summertime, this works really well and it can double as makeup and I actually kind of like it as makeup because if I know I'm gonna have a really hot, humid day and I don't want to put on makeup, but I need sun protection, this gives me SPF 50 with a look of makeup, a matte finish, and it just kind of wears well throughout the day. So what it kind of comes down to is what you're looking for if you want something that's invisible or if you want something tinted. Um, I do think that, like I said, the finish does change a little bit depending on the type, but it's not so, so drastic where one side is super glowing, one side is ultra matte. 
it's just a little bit of a noticeable difference. The thing about when you have like a more matte sunscreen, it does definitely feel like it kind of blurs imperfections, fine lines, wrinkles, that type of thing. Um, especially on the side that's tinted, I feel like my forehead wrinkles just look a little bit better, a little bit smoother. But I would caution you because I didn't pull it all the way down my neck. I'm just testing it out for you guys today but you can see a pretty noticeable like line of demarcation on my neck and my chin. So just keep that in mind if you are wearing it. But otherwise it kind of matches my, my body skin color right now. <laughs> so yeah, last thing I wanted to say about these, I think that the price is really good. If you are even paying $33, that's still less than the Supergoop. Well, now I can't remember. I think the Unseen is one of the cheaper Supergoop sunscreens, but you are getting quite a bit. It is travel, ish friendly i have traveled with it so i can attest to the like little stopper actually stopping it from coming out but i think it's a little like bulky in terms of the packaging all of this is unnecessary the inner part of it is kind of like obscured by the the glass pl or the plastic around it so not the best travel one but not the worst it has never stung my eyes i've used it in multiple scenarios where like i'm outside walking outside doing stuff working out at the gym kind of things like that and then obviously a good kind of dupe for makeup if you're looking for that with the tinted one. So I'm excited that I tried these. I'm excited that I got to talk about them in this 14 days of sunscreen. So if you do enjoy this video, if you enjoyed day 10, give it a big old like, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 11. Bye.